one out of every three women will be a victim of sexual assault. 40% of all sexual assaults happen in a woman's home. And fighting back is not just a responsibility, it's a moral right. Today we're gonna to talk about self-defense, taking control in women. And these tips could save your life. All right, well, a lot of things what we do here, Benito, um, we actually try to specialize and try to find exactly what you're looking for. Um, a lot of people, they walk into a gun store or a gun shop and they say, hey, I'm looking for a gun. Mm -hmm. What we need to know is, what, what do you be comfortable with? If you don't, or what's your, what's your experience with guns? Well, I don't have any experience and I'm looking for personal protection. Okay, all right. So, first we need to start out with, okay, you know, the type of guns that, that you have. So we can teach you about uh, what, what particular guns we have. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the types. You have semi-automatics. Semi? You have revolvers. Revolvers, okay. okay. So what would you be comfortable with? No. I need something small. I needed something simple, easy, and maybe a little cute. Something small, Put it in my purse. and that's what I want. That's my next yes. question. Okay, <laughs> what, what, you know, is it personal protection in the home or personal protection outside the home? Outside of the home, when I sometimes I have late nights and I have to watch my car from building, so I want something I can grab out of my purse in the dark and not have to worry about it. And, okay, so simplicity. Yes, this sound like what you're looking for. I do. Real oh, easy. Real easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, simplicity. More with your revolvers. Okay. Okay. Um, now. The, the con to that is, or should I say, the uh, yeah, the con to that is against the semi-automatic. The semi-automatic will be able to carry more rounds. Okay. Okay? With the revolver, yeah, you have anywhere between five to six shots. But the good thing about it is it's simple. It's okay. very simple. So when you pull it out of your purse, all you will have to do is aim and squeeze the trigger. Oh, I like that. Okay? Nothing to think about. No mistakes really to make. Okay. Just make sure you point it in the right direction. Yeah, you, and then right. You're good to go. <laughs> so I just aim, point, and shoot. That sounds easy. Okay. All right. So what do women normally get? We, we look at second act women, women forty and beyond. What do middle aged second act women like? What what which works better for women? You know what, uh, Benita? Uh, any of them will work. It's just okay. really the um, your personal preference okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said the simplicity some women like a particular gun because of the way it looked the mm -hmm. color of it anything like that um, but what we try to go with definitely when we're talking to women not because you're a woman mm -hmm. but simplicity simplicity right okay. and when mm -hmm. you're thinking about self-defense you don't have a lot of time to think True. like I said before you know you lose those fine motor skills in a, in a, um, a, a scary situation mm -hmm. so you know a lot of things that you would think to do on your own uh, on a normal situation, you can roll smooth with it. So just automatically, yeah. you just you don't have to think. Just do, right, just right, react, right, or right. Respond. Is it some? Okay. Do I need to cock the gun? Mm -hmm. Do I need to chamber around? Do I need to do anything like that? Mm -hmm. K I S S. Keep it simple, silly. This bottle right here. That is our number one best seller. I like something that's small like this. And you know, it surprises me, it's not nearly as heavy as I thought it was right. going to be, because right. I I'd never touched a gun before. Right. I wasn't sure, and like probably a lot of people, I, I only know what I saw on TV. I don't right. even know if that's real. And that's another <laughs> thing I'm going to oh. try to talk to you about, especially okay. being mm -hmm. a woman. If you notice the difference in the weight. Yes. If you notice the difference in the weight, you notice one is more solid mm -hmm. when, Ooh. when you have, you know, with the frame. Definitely. Okay. This one's heavier. And right. the other one is. Mm -hmm. yeah. This could get hung up in your purse or your pocket because it has a hammer and that is a smooth look. I like that because I tend to dump a bunch of stuff in my purse and I'm just go, wait a minute, hold on. I'm right. coming by it, guy. I'm coming. Right. Right. So you're at, oh, I'm glad you said that because right. I carry right. junk in my purse. Makeup right. will probably get on that one. Right. But this, right. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, I carry everything. Uh, you right. know, so I like this. Right. It's, it's nice smooth. Too. So, it's right. Nice. So that and those snags here. Mm -hmm. And then again, the weight could be important. Because okay. You said you might have it in your purse. So you might carry it on your purse. You mm -hmm. know? Uh, so the weight will be a difference. Also, oh, yeah, something definitely. you want to think about oh, that's as nice. far as uh, carrying a firearm. Very good, very mm -hmm. good. Now, you mentioned something, these come in colors. <laughs> yes, they do. They do. I'm, like, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of stoked on that. Right, that's right. nice and all, but don't you right. got something else? Right, colors? so you have a different one. <laughs> we have like um, that. You know, a semi automatic oh, battery. No, that's have a, nice. A, a Walther uh, P, P, P uh, K3380. Oh, okay, so you got pink. pink? Yeah, so <laughs> different colors. Um, you, can, you can definitely. Um, you can definitely personalize, personalize it. 
Uh, to, I can to, put to on here the second act with Danita Adams and that's the it. show. That's it. Hey, that's cool. I can that's do that. One. Okay, that's good. It. Very good. Okay, great. So, um, in terms of just holding it and all that, we'll go through all those kinds of we'll things. We'll go through all that when we get down to the range. Get down to the mm -hmm. range. Okay, excellent. Okay, enough talking. Now let's shoot some guns. Okay, so we left the shop. We're here. I'm ready. Right. All right, all right. Yes. So what we're we gonna do first, Benita? I'm kind of disappointed we get that pink gun, but that's okay. I'll <laughs> that's take these. Right. I just want to be that's honest all right. with you. So what we'll do first? We'll start out with the the P22. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to start out with this one because it's a smaller round, okay. lighter load, so you have less recoil. Less recoil. And what's okay. recoil again? Recoil is what a lot of people refer to as the kick of the of the firearm it when you shoot it. Pushes you back a little. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing to be afraid of because it's just learning how to manage that. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And that's what we're gonna do. All right. I'm ready. Okay. So what I do first is I show you how to load it up. Okay. With the uh, Walter P22, you actually have an assist right here for the follower mm -hmm. that you can actually pull down. Oh, okay, and you can load it like thumb. that. Right, right, right. And we just put a few rounds in there. Mm -hmm. it's two, three. How many does four. that hold? This one actually holds 10. 10, this okay. This one actually holds 10, but we'll start out with five just so you can get the feel of it. Okay, okay, good. All right, and what I do is, um, if you want me to, I can demonstrate the first couple of shots. Oh, yeah, that and, would be and good. And then takes it from there. That would okay. be what I do. All right. It's on. Let's load, lock, and shoot. So what I do, always before you get started with any firearm, mm -hmm. you want to verify that it is in a safe position. We don't have any uh, loaded rounds in there. Okay, so make sure it's empty. empty. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, and then we'll come over here. And like I said, when we when we're shooting, you always want to keep your uh, your muzzle, which is the dangerous end of the gun, the, the hole, the barrel. That uh, is, you want to keep that pointed down range at all. Okay. Off is from safety to fire. See the F. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, okay. that's excellent. All right. So, so safety or fire. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, that's you're still good. holding it away from everybody. I'm you're still holding pointing. it straight down range. Okay. All right. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive out and I'm going to fire. And what I do is I have you step just step. a little bit behind me. Okay. And I'm going to drive out, straight out to the target. Uh -huh. So if I had the bad guy coming at me. Okay, straight, bad guy. Mm -hmm. Right, so if he's there, I just drive straight out to him. Whoa, that scared me. And I fire. And then I shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the first time I've heard right. that. I'm close. I have the mouth. Wow, that kind of startled yeah, yeah. me a little bit, to be honest with you. Yeah, so now I have a, a round in the chamber. I didn't know in, in real life you could actually see the, it's like it was a color, like yellow or red, or you could actually see Your muzzle something. flash, yeah. right, your muzzle flash. I've never seen that right. before. Right, okay, wow. so I do it again, I drive out. Okay. My slide locks to the rear because now I'm empty. See how I was shooting? And as I shot, it reloaded automatically. Okay, automatically. And, right, okay. but mm -hmm. one at a time. Mm -hmm. Hence the word semi-automatic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so now we're empty. So what I would do is I'm going to take the magazine and out here. And do you here. check it again? Or you just know it's empty? Well, we know it's empty, but always for safety reasons, especially when you're on a range, it's just range courtesy to, to leave the, the slide lock to the rear okay and uh -huh. then that way we can walk back to the reloading table with the muzzle down okay and it's in a safe position okay okay so okay. we have greg reload it okay uh -huh. all right so while he's reloading it all right so you are a right hand person right i'm right handed yes. all right now the thing about semi-automatics mm -hmm. is well any gun when you when you first pick up the gun you definitely want to make sure that your finger is always off the trigger Okay. okay always. So never. I, I'm thinking TV. TV, it's right, right, right. Trigger. Okay. <laughs> right. So when you pick it up, okay. you never put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Keep your finger off the trigger. And excuse trigger. me for my hands being so cold. Oh, that's cold. Okay. okay. No, my hands are going through. Right. Here. <laughs> so another bad habit that people would do with a uh, semi-automatic, mm -hmm. especially if they never shot one before, they'll put the thumb here. Okay. okay. That is a bad habit for semi-automatics. Mm -hmm. The thing what'll happen is. When that slide, you got to think when that slide comes back, mm -hmm. it'll catch that fingernail. Oh. Okay? You don't want that. Okay. Then you're going to have a bad day. So, what you're going to do is bring these four fingers these four. around here to support these three. Okay, uh huh. All right? And that thumb so, this goes thumb. right, okay. right uh -huh. go in there and kind of point it like right at the target. Okay. Right towards the target. Thank you, Greg. And then my fingers not on the trigger. Okay? Right, no absolutely. Trigger. Absolutely. Okay? Is that what they mean by trigger happy? <laughs> okay. Hey, I always want to know what that meant. Okay, now I know. Uh, so now we're going to work on your stance. Okay. All right. So your feet will be 
pretty much shoulder width apart. Okay. All right, uh -huh. so you got your little Charlie Angel stance going on nope. right there. So, <laughs> I felt like a sexy 55-year-old Charlie's Angel. So now you're using your body to actually, if this was a, a 45 or a 40, a gun with a lot of recoil, uh -huh. it's going to allow you to control the recoil more because now you're putting your body weight oh, behind okay. the gun. Okay? So it's bracing it a little right, bit. Okay, right, right. Okay, mm -hmm. so from here, now you're just going to drive straight out to the, to the target and bring the gun up to your sight like that. Okay. Okay, so just like you're doing, both eyes are on the target. Yeah, see, not I on the gun. you would open, you know, like you kind of see close one eye. Or right, close one right. Eye. That's what I thought. Yeah, your target shooters, they do that. Okay. You know, but mm -hmm. when you're defensive shooting, you want to keep your eye on the target. Both eyes On, on the guy, on okay. whoever you're shooting at, yeah, okay? On the bad guy. On the bad guy, absolutely. <laughs> okay? Okay. So mm -hmm. one more time, we'll, we'll drive uh -huh. in, and we're going to drive straight out to the target. Okay, and okay. then once you're on the target, your finger will shift to the to the trigger, oh, okay, now and then you really squeeze trigger. the trigger. Okay. okay. Oh, ready? Right. So you ready? All right. Uh, 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 uh. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Cut gonna, that part. We gotta out. cut that part. Oh. Off. My name is Julie Green, and I'm president of Julie Green Personal Safety Solutions, and I've been in those scary places too. And I've developed a program called Defy the Bad Guy: Prevention perception and power. Prevention is doing what you can to prevent a crime or to prevent violence or to help you get help faster. Perception is how you perceive your surroundings, but also how you can alter the perception of somebody who might want to attack you. And then the third is power, how to use the power of your stance, of your voice, and of your body to escape and get away to safety. When somebody grabs you, you know, face each other, face, face, face each other there. Mm -hmm. That's, that's right. Oh, don't right. worry. Yeah. Well, this and then, that's right, either way. And so, if you would, grab, take your, get into your strong stance. All right? And so, bad guy, take your right hand, grab their left hand. We're the bad guys here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. All right. So, um, actually, we're going to switch. I'm going to have you be the bad guy. Okay. So you take your right hand, grab my left hand, all right? So I can't do anything from here. If I pull away, just pull away. Just see how that feels. I mean, and imagine. It's not going to work too good. So what you need to do, keeping your structure, is shuffle in. So you mean you shuffle into the bad guy? So you grab her with this hand. Yes. Yeah. Get closer. Because you can't do anything here. But now... Shuffle. Now, look what happens. When you're here, <laughs> she keeps moving. Oh, right here. Let's do the same. Let's see. Actually, you grab her here. Right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so now, what happens is actually you grab. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So these are the bad guys. Bad guys are here, right? Okay. 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 So what we're going to do is we're here, we're grabbed. Do you think he's going to be expecting you to come closer? He's going to be oh, saying, no. Oh, no, 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 no. So what we're going to do right. is surprise him and be loud and be furious. And so slide in. Just slide in so like your shoulder there. is mm -hmm. by their shoulder. Mm -hmm. Now, shoot your hand down. Bring your hand down and shoot it to their butt and go around. Oh. Shoot it. Shoot it to, OK, you're here. Shoot it. Yeah, here, oh, let's see. oh no, you're you're moving. So yeah, so um sorry. Grab. You are grabbing wait. So you're grabbing her, I'm sorry. Okay, right. Here. So mm -hmm. you scoot. You shoot your hand toward your butt and then go around, make a little circle. Oh and then look what happens. Do that. They you are in a place where you can use your weapons. You are in a place where you can use all kinds of weapons. This hand, they can't really do anything with because you kind of trapped it. Mm -hmm. This hand that might want to hit you, this way over there. Mm -hmm. And you're facing this way, they're facing that way. And you can, bam, bam, so bam. And it's going to have more now than we get. Uh-huh. And so switch. Um, so just stay where you're at. But now, did y'all try that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So now, I'm going to be the bad guy. Okay. So this is where the bad guy, and so just grab like actually somebody's gonna grab you probably like that. Okay, so I'm grabbing. Yes. Oh yes. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just on top like that. Mm -hmm. That's probably how it's the easiest. So shuffle forward. 
Oh. Uh um. -uh. What you're doing? Not a step. Oh, okay. not a step. Not a step. It's a shuffle. shuffle. Oh, so shuffle. Okay, not a step. The same, side. Okay, not a step. Not the same side. side that your hand is on. Oh, so you're going to go here. Really. Okay, so yes. go here. Yes. Here we go. Okay. So, so you shuffle here. Push your hand out there and around. I know. And then what you're going to do? Go around that way. Okay. Go around that way. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did y'all try that? Heard any woman talk about uh, her experience after being raped or robbed? You know, one of the first things they ask themselves: What did I do to bring that on myself? What did I do? You know, and most times it's not what you did to bring on yourself; it's what you did not do. And it's protect yourself mentally. You know, it's how you carry yourself. You know, when you're walking out into the street or you're going about your daily activities. You know, the career criminal chooses you as a target. So the bad guy chose me. How about that? Mm -hmm. They chose you as a victim, okay? And why? Because your physical attitude was wrong, you know? You're in a parking lot, and you're walking from the store, and you're looking at your cell phone, and you're not even paying attention to the guy who's kind of sauntering along with you, you know? And he's kind of moving along with you, but you know, you're not paying any attention, because what are you doing? You're on your cell phone. Okay, so your physical, your body language right there tells them that, you know, he can attack you. Okay, now, Belita, how do you feel when I just came up on you like that? You start, right? Yeah. Start. Yes. Especially if I'm looking down, like, and I don't even see you coming. Exactly. Yeah. You're surprised, okay? Right. And that's what they count on, okay? So that you have that first move. One of the first exercises we're going to learn today, we're going to be called a combination punch, okay? But first, we're going to start with just some basic punches a jab, okay? A jab is straight punch. Okay, and what you're doing, you're snapping your fist out real quick, bam, bam, like a cobra strike. You know, a cobra, you know, the reason he can get you from, you know, anywhere you are, because he has a straight path, you know. What's the fact, what's the, uh, what they say, the uh, shortest distance between two points is what? A straight line. Okay, so, straight line. Wham, straight through. Wham, punch it out, punch it out, and snap it at the end. Snap it at the end, snap it at the end, snap it at the end. Okay, relax, okay. Now, what does that provide you with against an attacker? Now, when you walk up to that attacker, walks up to you, and you get that, you get that punch, wow. So he's not expecting that. <laughs> now, that gives you see that? You see that? That was good, right? Yeah, wow, exactly. Yeah. Lights out, baby, you know? And if you hit someone in the grip, in the tip of their nose, you know, that is a very soft spot. You will take a man down, 6'4", 250, you know? If you hit him in the tip of his nose, because now his eyes gonna start watering, you know? May even start bleeding. But you get someone in the tip of their nose, mm -hmm. wham, you know? Oh, you saw so bleed, bleed, blue, blue. But you're gone, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> no time for you to cut and run. All you wanna do is get out of there and not fight. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's what you wanna do. You wanna create space between you and your attacker, right? right. You don't wanna stay in there and fight with him. I don't want to stand there and fight with him, you know? I want to create some space between him, him and I so I can get away because I don't know who's with him, right? You know, I'm a guy, I'm pretty, you know, physically fit, but I don't know who's with him. He could have a bunch of guys waiting with him. It could be a gang. You know, I'm not going to stand there and fight with a gang of people and lose my life, you know? So what you want to do is you want to have that defensive move. Once again, you know, just kind of rehash what we talked about. You know, one of the things you want to make sure that you're, you're doing physically and mentally is to have a body. Remember, say body language. Body language. Body language. And you're walking through the parking lot, and you're looking, you're looking at people, you're making eye contact, you got your bag in your hand, mm -hmm. but you're aware of your surroundings, you're looking at people. And if someone's walking around, you know, kind of, you know, some always in close proximity of you for some reason, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking, hey, how you doing? You know, we're just, for this lot, uh, hey, how you doing? You know, you want to look at that person, let them know that you see them. Yeah, okay, true. and they're like, hey, how you doing? And they can walk away. Yeah. Because now, but that, that, he's not counting on that. Yeah. He doesn't want that. He doesn't want to be recognized. You know, they work in the shadows of the dark, okay? On um, anonymity. So, all right, so here we go. Now, now let's put this into a, a physical fun stance here, okay? Here we go. We're gonna do uh, jab punches, and we're gonna snap that hand out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now what we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some footwork to it to get some cardio going, some fat burner. How about that? Here comes the fun part of it, okay? So we're gonna be on our toes. See how I'm on my toes? You ever watch the boxing match? You ever see Floyd Mayweather and those guys, man, they're on the toes like this, right? Muhammad Ali, what? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? What are we talking about? You're on his toes, nice and light. Okay, and we're gonna do an eight count. Ready, get set, go. One, two, count me, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, eight count. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, stop. All right, peace up. We're gonna do what we call knee up kicks. 25 on each side. Here we go. Ready. 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 Get set. Go. One, count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Push it. Eight. Kick it. Nine. Push it. Ten. Kick it. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Up. Fourteen. Up. Fifteen. Up. Sixteen. Seventeen. Kick it. Eighteen. Kick it. Nineteen. Twenty. One. Two. Three. Four. Twenty-five. Bam. Bam! Okay, all right, good job. Gotta do something for your hands. Yeah. Don't you feel good? Don't you feel empowered? Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, wow, that's a powerful move yeah. for anyone, any size. It doesn't matter your size, your, your stature, yeah. your ability, you know. You can put anyone down with just what we call technique. Everybody say technique. Technique. The things that we've learned today, the tips about self-defense, about boxing, about firearms, these are things that could save your life. If you're out somewhere, you need to be aware of your circumstances. I learned so much today, and I'm telling you, I'm gonna actually use these things, and I want you to use them as well. And don't forget, it's our time. <laughs>